so I got another little video for you today. I am up in beautiful north central Pennsylvania, also very snowy. Uh, in south central PA, we have no snow on the ground, but up here, it looks like the rain we got two days ago was snow up here, so that, you know, that's something. Anyway, so um, I'm a huge fan nationally of our national park system, and I'm also more locally a big fan of the Pennsylvania state park system. So I don't really like going to the state parks that have you know, like swimming pools, because they get a little iffy, and I don't really like going to the state parks that have stocked trout waters, but I do like state parks like, you know, Ricketts Glen, or, um, you know, Leonard, Leonard Harrison State Park, Colton Point State Park up on the uh, Pine Creek Gorge, and other, other lesser known state parks. Anyway, so today, I'm going to a state park that I had really no idea about till I found it online, it's called Ravensburg uh, State Park. It's right near Woolrich in North Central PA. Woolrich is the uh, famous clothing company, kind of similar to Eddie Bauer, but in my opinion, a better quality. And the original manufacturing plant and headquarters was in, you know, go figure, Woolrich, PA. Anyway, so <clears throat> Ravensburg State Park happens to have a stream, the, the only real stream in Ravensburg, because it's only about 75 acres large, really tiny, tiny state park surrounded by Tidon State Forest, um, or at least near Tidon State Forest. Anyways, um, there's a stream called Rosh, 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 Roushtown, we're gonna go with Roushtown, Roushtown <coughs> Creek, which according to the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission has a class A native brook trout and wild brown trout fishery. And those are my favorite streams in all of Pennsylvania. So we're going up to Ravensburg. Um, we're gonna try to see if we can catch some brookies and or brownies. Look how freaking beautiful this little this little road is. Um, I cannot uh, say enough about getting out and exploring new trout waters. So I'm just rolling into Ravensburg State Park. This looks really, really nice. So let's park, let's get out here, and let's start fishing. I just got out here to the park. Um, as far as state parks go, this is really nice. More underdeveloped, uh, right here in the middle of the forest. Um, the water, from what I saw driving along the road, is really blazing because of recent rain that we had. So it may be tough to find. Yeah, it's really blazing, geez. Um, it may be tricky to find pocket water, uh, so we may eventually move and try to go somewhere else, but we're definitely gonna try to fish it now. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see, uh, see what we can catch. So, first impressions, this is so nice. I mean, the water's moving really fast. That's gonna be an issue, but this is like easily my favorite kind of fishing, easily. Um, nice small Pennsylvania mountain stream um, and like I said it's listed as brook and brown trout now I am right in the middle of the park so this place probably gets oh got him got him oh no he popped off oh man just had a nice brownie gosh darn it Oh, got him, got him, got him. Nice brook trout, nice brook trout, nice brook trout. Very nice. Probably good five incher, nothing crazy. Gonna wet our hands quick, wetting our hands. Ooh, 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 beautiful colors. Butte, 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 butte. Love these Northern PA brook trout. So nice. So we're gonna very quickly get them off of here, which we did. Look at this guy. Ooh, 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 ooh. That'll be a Roushtown, Roushtown Creek Brookie. Ooh, 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 real, real nice colors. We're gonna get him right back in. Beautiful. And he's gone. He gone. Still looking for trout number two out here. Oh, I think I almost got stuck. Um, yeah. So still looking for trout number two out here on 
Roushtown Run, or Roushtown Creek, whatever it is. Um, really nice stream. It's just, you can tell it's dropping elevation very rapidly. And there's not as much pocket water as I would really like to see. Um, most of it's moving a little too fast to really catch anything. Even this part I'm fishing right here is moving a little too fast. So I'm a bit of a kind of a history nerd. So I had to show this because I read about it online. So this pavilion area, this exact pavilion area with a really nice fireplace in there, this was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps, the CCC, back in either the 20s or the 30s. So just as a brief background, if I can talk, the CCC was developed by FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt during the, um, during the Great Depression to put young men who couldn't find work um, into work and they did stuff all across the country. And in PA, a lot of what it, they did were develop the state park system that we enjoy today. So it's a nice little, it's actually really well built, really nice architectural gem here at Ravensburg State Park, CCC, really cool. Just working our way up past the dam here at uh, Ravensburg State Park. Didn't have any luck at the dam. Um, we're trying to see, oh, got him, got him. Nice fish, nice fish, nice fish. That'll be a, that'll be a wild brownie. Very nice, very nice. So let's get down here and take a look at him quick before we get him back in. That'll be a nice wild stream bread brownie. Wet our hands quick, wet on our hands. Ooh, 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 ooh. Real nice brownie, good colors. Real nice colors, beautiful stream bread brownie. So, he's hooked pretty good. We're gonna need to get our pliers out. We'll get him off and we'll keep fishing. Excellent. Thought I would've got smacked. Dang. Where, where are the fish at? Where are the fish at? Try another one. Way back in here. Fish, I think, oh, got him. Real nice, real nice, dang. Oh, he's popping in the air, popping in the air. And we got him to show, oh no! Oh, uh, wow, nice wild brownie just popped off right there, gosh. All right, so um, because we had very limited time here at Ravensburg State Park and Roushtown Creek Run, whatever it is, um, that's actually all we got for today. So we managed to get two small uh, trout. So we got a probably five inch or so uh, native brook trout and probably a six inch or so um, wild brown trout. We also missed like a 10, 11, 12 inch wild brownie, unfortunately, but you know, that happens in fishing, so no big deal. If I had more time, I would definitely fish a lot more of the stream. This definitely reminds me of trout run near my cabin. Not quite as productive um, and not quite as big, but still really, really nice. Um, so anyways, we're heading back now. Thank you for watching, and hopefully we'll catch some more fish next time. So you're probably thinking to yourself, like, whoa, what's, what's going on? Uh, Traveling Trout Co. just did a, an outro. This video should be over, but if you thought that, you'd be wrong. So, <clears throat> to live up to the ethos of my channel name, uh, obviously we go traveling to catch trout, and I kind of threw the co at the end for company to make this seem more legit. There isn't a company, it's kind of just me with a GoPro and Adobe video editing software. If someday there was a company somehow doing something relating to fishing, that would be great, but right now, the co is there just to make it seem more official. Anyway, so we are traveling. So I was up at Ravensburg State Park earlier today. You obviously just saw that. Right now I'm heading back. So I'm on Interstate 80. I needed to find a rest stop, which I just found on my uh, smartphone. And at the rest stop, which I'm going to be stopping at in the next 10 or so minutes, I saw that there was a little stream right next to the rest stop. So I found that in North Central Pennsylvania, if you find a rest stop that's in a wooded area, there's like a 75% chance that that stream or creek or whatever will probably have some wild or native trout. So, the plan is stop at the rest stop, use the restroom, hit the creek, catch a trout, and the video. So, that's what we're going to try to do. Um, let's see how it goes. Alright, so I just got to the rest stop, did what I had to do. The creek is right over here, so let's get over there and see what this looks like.
We just left the uh, rest stop area. Definitely not, definitely not a big creek at all. I'll show it to you right here. Definitely more of a trickle. Um, we'll still give it a try. Again, don't know, don't know if there's trout in here. I could pretty much like jump over top of this stream. That's how, that's how shallow it is, but we're gonna give it we're gonna give it the old college try here. Tearing up my heart again. Tearing up my heart again. Gosh, damn it. Tearing up my heart when I'm with you. With or without you. Tearing up my heart t -t -t Tearing up my heart when I'm with you uh. Starting to get a little mountain laurel in here Which I hate Um Just cause it cut like there's an excellent excellent hole right here And I really can't cast to it because all this freaking mountain laurel. Ooh, pretty sure I just saw, got it. Oh no, crap. Brookie just smacked it right there. Gosh darn it. Smacked it. Let's see if I can get him again. Ooh, got him, got him, got him, got him. Nice Brookie. Or is that a brownie? That's a, oh, that's a brownie. That's a wild brown town. I thought we would see Brookies in here. Wow, what a, what a, what a pleasant surprise. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't know we'd get any trout, but if we did, I figured we'd see a brookie. Ooh, nice colors. Real, real nice colors. Boom, boom, boom. Stream bread brownie, probably five inches. So let's get our, uh, let's get our pliers out and get them off of here. All right, so we just got that little wild brownie. I was gonna keep going, but I hit the uh, dreaded posted private property sign. This is the first one that we've hit. So I think that's probably all we're gonna do. I might hit one or two holes on the way back, but uh, yeah, that that might be all we got. We'll see. I gonna go really badly. Jeez. Oh. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. And I made it. Yep, that's how you do it right there. This another one. Another. Another crossing. I have terrible balance. Terrible balance. I'm an athlete, but terrible balance. Jeez. Oh. All right, well. Got across that. That's cool. All right, so we just got back to the rest stop. Caught one little, little wild brownie. Missed a couple native brookies right here on, right off the interstate. So definitely keep exploring. Keep looking around. You'll find some fish. Uh, long day. That's all we got. Thanks.